Hello my beautiful Capricorn. Welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. This is your May part two. Please only take what resonates. If this isn't your read, check out your sun, moon, rising signs by clicking videos at the top of the screen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name's Lauren. I'm a spiritualist and this is a spiritual tarot reading basically. What we're going to do is take two overarching energies and then we clarify with the tarot. So we have birth. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. And they've told me to pick up this deck today, so we are doing. And what else do we have, please? And then we get into the tarot. We have three. We have to run with energy on my channel. Trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling telling you right now? That's your intuition. As you can see, her spirit guides are behind her. Dance. Do something to shift your vibration. When you dance, you're at a high vibrational state. When you're in a low, en low energy and you shift that vibration, it it enables you to connect. Okay, And you can use your intuition much, much easier. Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill and blooming dance. Have some fun. That's what they're saying because you're birthing these universal energies at the minute. It brings you the opportunity and possibility. So they want you to rest, rejuvenate and connect before this all happens for you. So let's get into the tarot, my beautiful, beautiful Capricorn. Angel spirit guides, can we have six cards, highest energies for May part two or whenever they see this because this is a timeless read. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the notification bell because we're a new channel and we get lost in the abyss. Okay, don't set fire to my card. We have the hyphen in past energies. What else do we have, Angel Spirit Guides? What else? We have the Queen of Swords in the current situation. What else? She loves music and dance. Ah, just saying, just saying, they coincide beautifully. We have the Two of Cups in influences in working in your favour. Right, we've got a run with energy. So we have the Six of Swords in reverse in the obstacle position. We have the Five of swords in what you should do and we have the last two are the stars and the world in the outcome which is absolutely blooming phenomenal and at the bottom we have the king of cups so balance those emotions out my beautiful capricorn because it's going to be very very beneficial to you hold your cup of love so hyphant in the past energies do you sort in out your stability what else or you have been, because this is past, and you found your inner light in your lantern. Return to self sort of energy. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords loves dancing and music. This is in the current, current situation. What do we have with the Queen of Swords? Thank you. You have choices. You need to use your intuition because there's a towel moment. This is the breaking down of the old. Um, you felt left out in the cold with something, and this is for a new and you full cup of love with a page of cups. The two of cups then, please, my beautiful angel spirit, guys. The two of cups and more information. Thank you. We've got the end of a cycle and the start of a new one. And this is the world is the completion of the fool's journey, right? So you've got this new cycle coming in. So let's have a look. Any more? Any more? No? Okay, that's fine. I can work with that. Um, Six of swords in reverse. The three of pentacles in reverse justice and the ten of pentacles these are the obstacle positions guys right got you the five of swords angel spirit guys what's the five of swords all about there's your journey there you go this is inf this is what you should do this is embark upon the new journey you're following a dimly lit path what else wowzers thanks peeps thanks right okay you've got communication coming in oh hang on this one's turned over as well um and we've got the page of wands it's in its infancy. The stars, baby. Dream desires. Thank you. What else? What else? Ooh. And the two of cups again. That's beautiful. And at the bottom of the pack, we have the emperor. That is boss energy. That is the keys to the secrets of the universe. He holds the key, does the emperor. So this is a development of energy. I can see that, my beautiful Capricorn. I am going to grab a massive cup of tea because I'm gasping. And we shall begin. Okay, my beautiful Capricorn. Right, so it's it's a very, very strong read. I can see everything that's happening here. We have birth. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. Trust the niggle. This is trusting your intuition. What is the niggle feeling trying to tell you? Connect, okay? How do you connect? You raise your vibration, right? When we're at a high vibrational state, it's easier for us to talk to our angel spirit guys. It's easier for us 
It's easier for us to connect to our higher selves. Do something to shift your vibration. You need to dance. You need to dance and take a break. You know, life and the dynamics of just life itself can be so, you know, sort of binding. I can see here with the Ten of Wands, you know, it's like a burnless energy. You need that break. You need that change in vibration. You need that change in frequency. A life's work, not a season. Get off the blooming treadmill. So you've been treading and you've been going and going and going and going. They want you to have some fun. It's as clear as day. That's why they asked me to pick that pack up. I haven't done it for any other star sign but you. I don't use the Lightseers deck um, normally in the these reads but they said pick up the light seers and that is the reason for that because you've been birthing something now we're starting with the past energies and the hyphen there the hyphen is a teacher energy it can represent marriage absolutely um and you've been trying to sort out your stability in the past energy this is getting ready for a new path i can see that this stability is absolutely beautiful she's practical she's financially capable and responsible very down to earth um it can also talk about your grounded but within the marriage you've been sorting out the stability and you've also been trying to heal a situation here with the hermit the hermit is healing of this marriage of this partnership and that's what i believe i'm just reading the cards as they fall and it's also returning to self okay it's finding your inner light um it's an inst introspection sort of stage um it's that alone time and what it said here is you've needed that alone time whether that she was a couple whether that's you in general the hyphen and this is past energies the hyphen is that beautiful beautiful energy it's a teacher energy it also it talks about the belief system and traditional values and it's just sorting out stability finding your inner light and you've absolutely done so now in the current situation we have the queen of swords now the queen of swords hashtag just saying she loves to do something to shift your vibration she loves to dance the queen of swords loves music she loves dance she's wild at heart she's had a rebirth of energy she holds her sword because she's been hurt in the past she's just alert to the undercurrent she's a phenomenal queen a lot of um readers give her a bad rap but she's she's not she's a rebirth of energy she's very very in touch with her spiritual side and when you sit in this power you know it's i can see we've got some delays in the obstacle position it's just you being dynamic and sitting in truth you're holding the sword of truth you know you don't always see everything because here we've got the seven of cups you can talk about illusions which blooming cup do we drink from it's really confusing me and it's a confusing time in the current situation for you and i can see that because we've got a tower moment so this is an absolute breakdown of the old in order to birth the new now i don't want you to worry the tower it's it's not bad it's not bad like a lot of people make out this is the clearing of the old in order to make way for better it can be mean a major change in your life is coming into play and you know you felt left out in the cold and something's been taking its time here with the five of pentacles um it's like it's been held up and i can see that it's been held up and it's it's lowered your vibe sometimes okay it's lowered your vibe to think oh i've been left out in the cold you feel like there's been a run of hard times that's what it's telling me but the tower comes in to shift that vibration so when the tower comes in and it shakes everything up it shakes the dynamics of your universe it's freedom from the old okay the tower must crumble in order to build those new foundations moving forward this is a change in frequency this is a change in vibrational energy and this is to birth the new now it's a new chapter we can't read a book and it'd be chapter one the whole blooming time because how boring would that be we it sort of leaves it on a cliffhanger ready for the next chapter and that's what it's saying to me here because here with the page of cups you've got a young cup of love coming into you that's absolutely beautiful it's the message it's the new stage it's a message of love it's talking about being loving creative caring it's it's falling in love with a message and it could mean a family so it's absolutely beautiful it needs to break down the old in order for this new venture to move forward we're going to hidden influences at work we've got the two of cups now it's horrific on the altaro but it's one of the most beautiful beautiful cards um it's it's a cup of love it's passion it's opposites attracting it's when two become one and they get on the same page so if you and your partner have been working on this and you've been finding your inner light together this is you being on the same page here with the two of cups and this is a new cycle beginning for you so the two of cups is soulmate energy it's glorious it's making one 
it's making you one and that's beautiful because this is hidden influence at work so when you become one and you start this new cycle together as you can see the naked dancer again you need to dance the naked dancer is holding a wand in each hand get blooming dancing i've told them i've told them the world is the completion of a cycle um it's the secret doorways to the universe you know it's completes the fool's journey and it's success and it's moving forward and starting a new cycle now the obstacle has been delayed we've got the six of swords in reverse that just tells me, and this is in the obstacle position, Capricorn, that there have been delays. The Six of Swords in reverse talks about delays in a progression forward. Now, this could be deduced with something you've been working towards with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. But it's also telling me that you've been too conservative in a situation. You need some fun basically they've told you so many times um and that's also clarified with justice and the ten of pentacles now justice is the balance and equality of karma it's everything balancing out but it's also telling me that a decision perhaps needs to be made moving forward and that's related to money and family matters with the ten of pentacles because the ten of pentacles represents um wealth it also represents family dynamics and it's emotional security. It's also related to the Wheel of Fortune. So what it's telling me is there is a turn in cycle. Karma is playing out currently and there is a turn for the better coming into you. There's just been delays in this situation. And then we're going to what you should do. So you're like, how is that what we should do, Lauren? That's the Five of Swords in reverse. So don't worry, don't worry. The Five of Swords in reverse is basically working in your favour here because this is the refusal to give in. You've refused to give in to this new beginning and what you've done is you've not given up on the situation which is actually is the right thing to do don't give in don't give up this new beginning is just around the corner the fool is the number of enlightenment he takes the journey again after the world energy it's the new cycle taking place okay um it's in its infancy it's young it's fragile and what it's telling me is you're walking down a dimly lit path not knowing if it will eventually become illuminated but it will you do have a uh, communication coming in You've got communication coming into you and this is in, you know, to your benefit here because this is what you should do. You need to communicate for this new cycle. Absolutely. You've been carrying this burden, this load and you think, can I actually manage? You can because you're a Capricorn. You can. You can carry a heavy load. You're phenomenal. Um, you just need to have some fun and you need to get that balance out. And karma is currently balancing out right now. Um, and that's just getting ready for your new journey because we don't want to be carrying stuff from the past for a new future do we because it messes up and it puts a cloud over that that you know when karma plays out this can be um in ways of when you have a massage for example for the first time and you haven't had one and you have a deep tissue massage that's a cleanse right and you can get flu-like symptoms afterwards because your body's detoxing and that is how i feel that's what's happening now the detox ready and you've been carrying this burden of load now the page of wands is exciting and this is with the five of swords in reverse. So the refusal to give in is enabling you to have this fresh opportunity coming to you with the page of wands. The page of wands is the message. OK, it's the development. It's inspiration. Um, it can mean work opportunities, but it's the message of communication. And because we've got it teamed here with communication, then this communication is coming forth. It's the passion of life. And it also can mean you taking a trip to a faraway place. And what I would say is if you've been going through all this, some R&R &R would do you good now the outcome is absolutely stunning we've got the stars this is your dream desires and your wishes coming true with the world and that is the new cycle and it's so blooming exciting i'm really really happy for you my beautiful capricorn this is success it's fulfilled integration it's accepting yourself and every aspect of it and the stars is your dream desires and wishes coming true you know it's the healing it's the rebirth it's the insight understanding and it's a spiritual dimension of life also it's telling me don't don't ignore the opportunity coming to you um, because it's going to be this beautiful new cycle. Again, don't miss the opportunity. So we've got the stars and we've got the four of cups. And on the new tarot, as you can see, looking at three cups, but not the fourth cup. It doesn't want you to miss the opportunity coming to you. And the stars relates to that as well. So it's screaming to you in the outcome. Make sure you don't miss it. We've got the two of cups again it talks about soulmate energy cups of love it's absolutely stunning um a card to end there couldn't be a better one this is connection this is soulmate connection um it's when two become one 
And it's when the whole thing is integrated, the healing, the new cycle. Don't miss an opportunity, though. They've, they want you to be aware of that. Now, don't forget we've got this. We've got universal energy brings you opportunity again and possibility. Um, there we go. The birth card. Absolutely stunning. And this can mean a rebirth of energy. It can mean a baby. Absolutely. But it's a rebirth of self. And trust the niggle. Trust the niggle. Dance because it's high vibrational. And take a break. That's your holiday where you might be going to far away place, which is very, very exciting. Can I come too, please? <laughs> I could do with one. And at the bottom of one pack, we have the King of Cups. This is balancing those emotions beautifully. Even on Rocky Waters, he tries to maintain his balance and hold his cup of love. And the Emperor, the Emperor holds the keys to the universe. It's protection, it's support, it's being the provider within a situation. And this is your card. So this is the power card. This is the action card and it's achieving the stability you want moving forward. It's absolutely beautiful. So there you go, my beautiful Capricorn. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, give me a thumbs up. They're completely private. Leave me a message below. I love connecting with your energy. Don't forget to check out your 48 hourly read and if you want to share this to your social media it will be very much appreciated i'm sending love and light to you until next time lots of love for me lauren and bye-bye for now